All right, so for today's problem, we're going to take another look at a problem from our geometry textbook, McDougal et al., 2007, where we have to find the values of x and y. Now, one of the first things I want to pay attention to in my drawing are these marks right here on those lines. Those marks mean that the two lines, this one right here and this one right here, those two lines are parallel, and parallel line they are always going to have certain things true about different angle measurements. So what I want to do is take a look at this angle right here and also where the X is. Now those two angles for parallel lines are what are called corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are equal. So that means X is going to have a value of 118 degrees also. Now to find the Y, Y is going to be a little bit more involved. So what I'm going to do is just kind of redraw that piece right down here. So I'm going to redraw that all the way right there. Now this is 22 degrees in this corner. Here is where the Y is. And up here was the angle I just found, 118. Now, 118 on the outside of the triangle in that location, that is what's called my exterior angle. And I'm going to make the little geometry symbol for angle. So 118 degrees is the location of my exterior angle. Now one of the things I want to pay attention to is the location of these two angles right down in here. Those are two non-adjacent angles to my exterior angle of 118 degrees. Now in geometry we can say that the exterior angle 118 degrees is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent angles, which means 118 is going to be y plus 22. 118 is going to be equal to the sum of y and 22. So when I subtract 22 from both sides, I will end up with, now for those of you that need to do this, you can write that underneath there, 11, 118 minus 22, I'll end up with 96. So 96 is a value that we come up with for y in this problem, and that's because the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent angles, and some textbooks might call those the two remote interior angles. So there's the value for X and there's the value for Y for this problem. 